Good morning. Today we are spending the day together because I wanna show you guys exactly what I'm doing to prepare for my 25th birthday. Literally, I'm gonna be 25 in like two weeks. So I posted a what I eat in a day about two weeks ago. And basically I let y'all know that I was aiming to lose 10 pounds. Baby, your girl has lost 10 pounds already. So, um, we're just gonna keep on going until my birthday is here because I am planning on eating. I wanna have a balance, but I definitely am planning on like eating not so healthy while I go on vacation. So I can't wait to show you guys um, all of the content and everything that I have planned out for where we're about to go in two weeks, y'all. Like it's literally basically like a week, but it's two weeks. But anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited. Today, you guys are gonna spend the day with me as I prepare for my birthday. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing, the workouts that I've been doing. Let's get the day started. Say good morning. You got a haircut? Show the people you have a little haircut. Do you want... yeah, my mommy's turning 25. Yeah, so let's get ready for the day and let's head to the gym. So I made it out of bed. Such a gloomy day today. The lighting is definitely not giving morning time. I was wondering why I looked a little strange, but it's because I didn't have on any earrings. <laughs> I was looking a little naked. This is how I'm going to the gym. Barefaced. Mm, mm, mm. I forgot to show you guys that I've been loving Celsius to drink before the gym. It's really good. I've tried the mango flavor. I've tried the acai flavor. That one is my least favorite. And now this one is tropical vibe so let's taste cheers to the gym baby this is good it says sparkling star fruit pineapple edition this is good this would definitely wake you up and make you want to do some backflips in the gym like this is really good literally only 10 calories but the entire thing wow it tastes like a soda so I don't take Celsius every time when I work out, but when I do feel like a little low on energy and I need a little pick me up, it's gonna do it. Anyway, so let's go, let's go to the gym. We are finally in the gym. This is the exact routine that I've been doing to lose 10 pounds for my birthday. So first things first, where are you going? If you're not stretching first, you need to be warmed up. You need to stretch before you go into your workout. First things first. Y'all, please stop leaving the weights on the bars when y'all are in the gym. Please take them off when you're done. Um, that's just a little rant. And also, I don't lift wearing shoes. So that's why you see me kick the shoes to the curb. And this is still the warm-up. So I have four sets of five empty barbell squats to do. And then I have three sets of ten empty barbell bent over rows to do. So do your warm-ups long story short no shortcuts because you might get injured and we don't want that so now that we have some weight on the bar it is time for our first set and y'all the first set is always the hardest <laughs> but we're gonna get through it especially because it's back squats mm, if you know you know so i do full body workouts three days a week and i end with cardio and you'll see what kind of cardio i end with at the end of this gym session but it makes the world of a difference but that is sustainable for me going to the gym three days out of the week is a breeze and i actually enjoy it i'm not gonna kill myself going to the gym five days a week no i want to do what's sustainable for me and my full body workouts always start with lower body and then we make our way up to upper body because your lower body requires much more strength energy and effort because it is a large muscle <laughs> to push out that workout set which is why you need to start with your lower body and work your way up it's way more efficient that way and if you're just starting the gym please don't be intimidated by persons that lift heavy weights baby lift what you could lift the only thing that you need to be worrying about is your form form over everything if i have to exchange a 25 pound weight for a 20 pound weight or for a 15 or 20 pound weight i'm gonna do it with no shame so now strength training is done and now we get to do our cardio. And as you can see, my cardio of choice is the treadmill, running, sprinting, but honestly, you could do any kind of cardio. Bicycle is good as well, but this is what I do. And I do it in intervals, 30 seconds walking and one minute running. And I also do two additional cardio days on the days when I don't go to the gym with my girl Sydney on YouTube. And y'all, that is literally 
all that I did. I lost 10 pounds in about four to six weeks. And this is what I did. Gym session is done. We're done. Mm, thank you. Thank you for coming. You girl is back from the gym. <laughs> it was a good session. Still glistening. It was a struggle though. And I don't want y'all to judge me, but if you watch my Fort Lauderdale travel vlog, then you would know that I bought a new iPhone. But tell me why <laughs> I haven't switched over yet. So the reason I had to get a new iPhone was because the storage wasn't storaging anymore up to its capacity and that was from June. It is now September. I'm definitely switching over from this phone to my new phone before I go away for my birthday because I can't be struggling because in the gym, I had to offload almost every app in my phone. I had to go through my camera roll and delete a bunch of things because every five seconds when I started the video, iPhone storage full. So y'all, <laughs> that was a workout within itself, going back and forth. So I'm gonna transfer over the footage that I got from the gym to my laptop now so that I could free up some space. And y'all, like also my laptop too <laughs> is running out of storage. This is a MacBook Pro, so I don't know what exactly I need for YouTube or if I should just get like a separate desktop for youtube videos hmm but your girl has to make that investment save up her coins and make that investment because this is it's getting annoying <laughs> like it's really getting annoying but anyway so i'm gonna meet y'all in the kitchen because we're about to go and get breakfast we're gonna eat then i'm gonna go ahead and do my devotions i'm excited to show y'all what i started to implement like about a week ago before i eat anything i'm gonna show y'all what i started to implement and i could definitely feel the difference in my body since i started to implement what I'm about to show y'all again. So anyway, I'm gonna meet y'all in the kitchen after I finish putting the footage on my lappy. See you guys in the kitchen. All right, you guys, we are in the kitchen. Y'all literally, look outside. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's dark and it's thundering and lightning. And it's only 11, 12 in the morning. Your girl has started implementing ACV shot apple cider vinegar shots when i first started my weight loss journey i used to put acv inside of my tea but i couldn't stomach it anymore <laughs> like after a while i could lord dicey are you scared like, he hates thunder it's okay like he's literally sitting like right down by my foot Aww. oh my goodness i don't know if y'all can hear that but so let me show you guys what i use to make the shot all right, so obviously the first thing you're gonna need is is your apple cider vinegar with the mother only with the mother to dilute it you're gonna use some water y'all i really can't believe that i missed out the lemon but you won't see the lemon in here because i completely missed it i forgot the lemon but you definitely need a lemon to drizzle in there you're gonna need some honey because I like honey and honey makes things taste better. Then you're gonna add some cayenne pepper and some turmeric. You're gonna need your little shot glass. This is the one that I got from Turks and Caicos. If you didn't watch our travel vlog, go ahead and watch it because we had a time. And then of course, your little measuring teaspoons. I mean, or you could just eye it, honestly. You're not supposed to take more than one tablespoon because you don't wanna do too much. You don't wanna cause any problems because it's very strong, so you don't need to do more than one tablespoon. This thunder and lightning is getting out. I haven't been doing this every day, but more like every other day, or if I do do it every day, I'll take a break from it on the weekends because I don't want to be doing it too much. Like I always say, anything you do in excess is not gonna be good for you or your body. Yeah, girl, so let's make our ACB shot. good but it's spicy. it's spicy and if you can't handle like the taste i've been doing it for a while now so i'm good but like if you can't handle the taste of apple cider vinegar just drink some water after when you're done but baby that cayenne pepper comes in strong but it took like all 
of it. And it's definitely like helped me with my cravings and it helps to kind of suppress your appetite so you don't be craving a lot of bad things. So girl, if you struggle with craving bad food, the ACB shot is for you. Breakfast is served. This is breakfast. Peanut butter and honey every time, every time it hits. And the sausage, if you love sweet and savory combos, this is, this is it. I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> Not a inch of sun. Me losing 10 pounds for my birthday. It's not just about looking snatched, although we love a good snatched look. We have to come through for our birthday dress, baby. It's not just about that. It's more so me, me wanting to walk into this like milestone, which is 25, as the best version of me possible, as the most healthiest version of me possible. And that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Honestly, working out and eating healthy, it brings so much discipline and self-control into your life. If you want self-control and you want discipline, start the gym and start eating healthy you think you discipline and you think you have self-control until then <coughs> let me tell you because it's not easy to get up out of bed when the weather is like this nobody else is going to do it for you and of course when i go on vacation i already have a list of places and foods that i want to try so why am I gonna waste my calories before that time? When I go on vacation, I don't have a limit. I know that it's not gonna all go away because I went on vacation and I ate whatever I wanted to like for a few days. It just didn't happen like that. Like you wouldn't reverse that quickly. But I think that everybody should do what they feel like they wanna do. But I do think that you should at least try to be a bit more healthier throughout life in general, not just for your birthday, babe. <laughs> You don't want to be a part of that committee when you want to lose like 30 pounds for your birthday, babe. <laughs> and then the rest of the year is like whatever. So you just only be trying to lose weight for your birthday. Like, let's not do that. Let's be healthy throughout the year. Let's have a balance throughout the year, which doesn't only include healthy foods. I said balance. When it comes time for your birthday, you won't be trying to exhaust yourself trying to lose weight. My goal was to lose 10 pounds. I've already lost 10 pounds. I'm just going to keep on going yeah i love eating my gummies after i'm done with breakfast because i'm just such a big child honestly honestly oh your girl's birthday dress just got delivered Yay. gonna go ahead and read my devotions take a shower do my skincare i need to edit and post my tiktok and then it'll be time for lunch like i said y'all are spending the day with me today during lunch i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the struggles that i've had like during this process of me losing 10 pounds so that is what we're gonna do it's bath time while i listen to a podcast so like um i was i was raised in a town called All right, so now we are officially ready to start the day. I am about to try and be very productive today. I need to edit two TikToks, post one of the TikToks, and then I also have a Q&A video that I need to film for YouTube. So let's get started with the day. I need some hydration. I am done with one TikTok video. It took me a little bit to edit it. Currently now 3.42 and I'm hungry. I need to go and get lunch because it's already pretty late. This is what I'm eating. And um, before I go ahead and judge it, it tastes really good. So it's ground turkey with some sriracha mayo. Some regular sriracha, a little bit of ranch drizzle. This is Greek yogurt. The white yellow stuff is grated Parmesan. You may think it tastes bad, but it tastes really good. Greek yogurt actually tastes like sour cream. Yeah, 
Oh, did I not say veggies is in this? So this is ground turkey and veggies. So I mixed the veggies in now. So today was a pretty chill day. I'm glad that the sun came out. But yeah, I got content done. Sometimes you need days like this. But anyway, let's talk about some struggles that I had trying to lose weight and prepare for my birthday. So honestly, the food, because I didn't want to have any cheat days or anything like that. So I kind of just wanted to challenge myself up until my birthday to eat good, like even on the weekend that didn't happen <laughs> during the week fine on the weekend i would have balance so it would be healthy with a sprinkle of seasoned cajun french fries i treated myself to a waffle bowl ice cream sundae yeah girl but and i didn't want to do that like i said because i wanted to challenge myself it's not necessary but it's just what i wanted to do but unfortunately like I guess I just got so used to not restricting myself and I realized that everybody's different. I don't like restricting myself in any way. So I feel like if I know that I am restricted, I just want to do it even more. My food is finished. For the rest of the day, I have Bible study at 6.30. I really don't think I want to eat dinner before then, but then I really should because I probably won't get back home until 8. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and relax until that time because I think like I've done a lot today. I feel accomplished. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my protein drink maybe in the next hour and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. This is a very much so chilled day in my life. I made my protein drinky to carry with me on the road. Oh, it's not a protein shake. It's just like a protein drink. So I'll talk to you guys and close out this little vlog once I get back because I still have to eat dinner. Yeah, girl is back. And I'm ready to be done with the day. <laughs> I need to go and get ready for bed. Ta-da! You just can't ever go wrong with literally seasoning the chicken, putting the sauce on top, and sprinkling cheese, and putting it in the oven. Like, it, it gets no easier than, than that. Aren't you so good? And that is everything for today. Yeah, it was a good day. I spent a day with you guys and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys, like I always say. I just wanna encourage you to let you know that whatever you put your mind to, you can do. Once you be disciplined and stay consistent, get to it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching yet another video. Don't forget to tell your auntie and tell your uncles and tell your cousins because I don't know if you don't. What are we gonna tell them? That we're doing tanks over here. We are doing tanks over here. So I'm gonna go and finish eating my chicken and my veggies. Then I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Maybe watch some Netflix. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't have anything else to say. So, bye.